another video on easy math okay today let's discuss about circles the intersection of straight line and circles and their length of intercepts and all the other concepts first let there be two equations first one is x square plus y square is equal to a square as you observe it is equation of a circle and the next equation is y is equal to mx plus c it is the gradient form of a straight line now we let's derive a formula and let's derive some concepts based on these two equations okay first okay the point of intersection of equations 1 and 2 means the equation of a circle and a straight line satisfy each other once the points are intersected right therefore to find the point of intersection we need to solve them how can we solve them okay we can use substitution method means substituting the value of any variable in the other equation means y is equal to mx plus c means mx plus c is the value of y substitute that in the equation x square plus y square is equal to a square then it becomes x square plus mx plus c whole square is equal to a square x square plus here if we square this whole term which is in the form of a plus b whole square mx whole square means m square x square means a square plus b square plus 2ab so mx whole square m square x square right here one x square if you take x square common x square into 1 plus m plus 2ab 2 into mx into c so 2mcx plus c square minus this a square so plus c square minus a square yeah, as you can see this is a quadratic equation right this is a quadratic equation with x coefficient of x square is 1 plus m square coefficient of x is 2mc and the constant term is c square minus a square This is a quadratic equation, so it has two values for x. Substitute means we have we'll get the two axes of points of intersection means the x coordinates. Substituting the values of x, we'll get the y coordinates. So these are the values of x and y. Okay, is a line will cut a circle in at most two points, right? So the point of intersection are real and distinct, or coincident, or imaginary, according to the roots. For each case, let's discuss an equation which will be satisfied for that case. Okay, first, when the points of intersection are real and distinct, as you can see here, a is greater than modulus of c by root one plus m square. This equation satisfies. if the, the, that line or that line and circle have two points of intersection if it has two points of intersection this equation will be satisfied okay let's see how to prove that okay it should have two distinct real roots right for distinct roots in quadratic equations we may have discussed that the discrim discriminant should be greater than 0 what is the discriminant 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 means b square minus 4ac where b square means b means the coefficient of x a means the coefficient of x square c means the constant term b square means coefficient of x whole square here coefficient of x is 2mc so 2mc whole square 4m square c square minus 4ab a means 1 plus m square b means c square minus a square If you simplify that, 4m square c square minus 4c square minus 4c square plus 4a square minus 4m square c square plus 4m square a square. If we simplify that, and 4m square c square, and in this you have one minus 4m square c square, right? That's two cancels out, and 4a square 4m square a square if we take 4a square common 4a square into 1 plus m square minus 4c square will be the same 
if we divide the whole thing with 4 and send c to the other side then it becomes a square into 1 plus m square is greater than c square that means a square is greater than c square by 1 plus m square a square is greater than modulus of c by root 1 plus m square. we have squares so we need to use modulus so a is greater than modulus of c by root 1 plus m square means modulus c by root 1 plus m square okay what is that modulus root c by 1 plus m square is nothing but the length of perpendicular from center from the center 0 comma 0 to y is equal to mx plus c or from origin to y is equal to mx plus c so a should be greater than the length of perpendicular from origin to the given line thus a line intersects a given circle at two distinct points if the length of the perpendicular from the center is less than the radius of the circle it should be less than the radius of the circle then now let's see what if those points are coincided if those points are coincident then in this case discriminant should be equal to zero so 4 m square c square minus 4 into 1 plus m square into c square minus a square is equal to 0. If we simplify as in the previous case, we will get c square is equal to a square into 1 plus m square. So a is equal to modulus of c by root 1 plus m square. It should be equal. So if a is equal to length of the perpendicular from center 0 comma 0 on y is equal to mx plus c. Thus, a line touches a circle if the length of the perpendicular from the center is equal to the radius of the circle. Discriminant should be less than 0. 4 m square c square minus 4 into 1 plus m square into c square minus a square is less than 0. a square into 1 plus m square minus c square is less than 0. a square into 1 plus m square is less than c square. a is less than modulus of c by root 1 plus m square. From that, radius radius should be length of the perpendicular from the center should be greater than the radius or radius should be less than the length of the perpendicular now let's see an example on finding the points of intersection okay guys here there are two equations 2x plus 3y is equal to 18 and x square plus y square is equal to 25. Now what we should do is we should find the points of their intersection. How can we do that? Here 2x plus 3y is equal to 18. If you send 2x to other side, 3y is equal to 18 minus 2x. So y is equal to 18 minus 2x by 3, right? Now substitute this y value in equation 2. Means x square plus y square is equal to 25. So, x square plus 18 minus 2x by 3 whole square is equal to 25. If you simplify this, you will get 18 minus 2x whole square by 3 square means 9, right? 18 square 324 plus 4x square minus 72x by 9 is equal to 25. If you take 9 as the LCM, 9 into x square, 9x square and here we have another 4x square, right? 9 plus 4, 13, 13x square minus 72x plus 324 is equal to 9 goes to the other side 925 it is 225 324 minus 225 you will get 99 so you will get the following equation if you simplify that if you simplify that by using factorization method then you will get x minus 3 into 13x minus 33 is equal to 0 so, x is, x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 13 by 3. Means either of this should be 0. If x minus 3 is 0, x is equal to 3. If 13x minus 33 is 0, x is equal to 33 by 13. Substituting these values of x in equation 1, we will get y is equal to 4 for x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 56 by 13 for x is equal to 33 by 13. So, the points of intersection are 4 3 comma 4 and 13 by 33 by 13 comma 56 by 13.
Okay, now let's see another concept means length of this intercept. The length of intercept cut off from a line by a circle. Okay, the theorem is that the length of the intercept cut off from the line y is equal to mx plus c by circle x square plus y square is equal to a square is 2 root a square into 1 plus m square minus c square by 1 plus m square. Here root is for both numerator and denominator. Okay, proof. How can we prove that? Okay, as before y is equal to mx plus c and x square plus y square is equal to a square. Substitute those values in this. Then if, if you substitute those, you will get the following equation. x square into 1 plus m square plus 2mcx plus c square minus a square is equal to 0. This is a quadratic, in equa quadratic equation in x. So it has x1 and x2 are the roots of this equation. Then we know that sum of the roots is minus b by a. Minus b by a. x1 plus x2 is equal to minus 2mc by 1 plus m square. And x1, x2 is c by a. So c square minus a square by 1 plus m square. Then what will be x2 minus x1? We know that there is a formula x a plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square is equal to 4ab. So, a minus b is equal to root a plus b whole square minus 4ab. Means x2 minus x1 is equal to square root of x2 plus x1 whole square minus 4x1 x2. If we substitute those values, you will get the following equation. x2 minus x1 is equal to square root of 2m square c square by 1 plus m square whole square minus 4c square minus a square by 1 plus m square. If we simplify that, 4 comes common from these two terms. So, square root of 4 means you will get 2 by 1 plus. And if we take LCM as 1 plus m square whole square, you will get 1 plus m square also common. So, the equation becomes 2 by 1 plus m square square root of a square into 1 plus m square minus c square. That is x2 minus x1, right? Points, since points x1 comma y1, p x1 comma y1, q x2 comma y2 lie on the same line. Then y1 is equal to m x1 plus c, y2 is equal to m x2 plus c. So y2 minus y1 means y2 minus y1. If you subtract those, you will get m into x2 minus x1. Now we need the distance pq, right? That is our required distance. pq is equal to root x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Means square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus m square into x2 minus x1 whole square. Based on this, y2 minus y1 is equal to m into x2 minus x1. It is equal to x2 minus x1 into root 1 plus m square. Means 2 by 1 plus m square root a square into 1 plus m square minus c square. Which is the value of x2 minus x1 into root 1 plus m square. If you simplify that, you will get our required equation. The length of the intercepts is pq is equal to 2 root a square into 1 plus m square minus c square by 1 plus m square. This is how to prove our required equation or in other way. In other way, we can prove that draw om perpendicular to pq and join op. Let's see. See, as you can see in this picture, draw a line om which is perpendicular to the line pq and connect O and P. Then OM is equal to length of the perpendicular from origin to Y is equal to MX plus C which is C by root 1 plus M square. And OP which is radius is A. 
and PQ is equal to 2 into PM, right? Because it is a theorem on circles. PQ is equal to 2 into PM. As you can see here, OM is the perpendicular, right? OM is perpendicular and PQ is a quad. OM is the perpendicular to the quad PQ, right? To the quad PQ, then PM is equal to MQ. So, PQ is equal to 2 into PM. PQ is equal to 2 into PM. That means PQ is equal to 2 root OP square minus OM square. According to Pythagoras theorem, PM will be square root of OP square, which is hypotenuse minus OM square, which is a side. PQ is equal to 2 root OP square. OP means A. So, A square minus OM square. OM is C by root 1 plus M square, as you can see here. Minus C square by 1 plus M square. If you take 1 plus M square as an LCM, you will get A square into 1 plus M square minus C square by 1 plus M square. You got the required formula. Now, condition of tangency. Okay, you know the tangents to a circle, right? A tangent to a circle means a line that passes through a single point on the circle. The line y is equal to mx plus c touches the circle x square plus y square is equal to a square at only one point. Means the intercept, length of the intercept is 0. So pq should be 0 and 2 root a square into 1 plus m square minus c square by 1 plus m square which is the formula for pq should also be 0. If we simplify that, 2 goes to the other side. 0 by 2, it becomes 0 and square root goes to the other side. So, a square into 1 plus m square minus c square by 1 plus m square will be 0. If 1 plus m square goes to the other side, a square into 1 plus m square minus c square is equal to 0. So, c is plus or minus a root 1 plus m square, which is the required condition. In another way, how can we prove this? The length of the intercept is 0 means the two points are coincided, right? We know formula for coincide, right? A is, A is equal to modulus of C by 1 plus M square. C by root 1 plus M square. Modulus. There is modulus. So, A will get the sign of plus or minus. A can have values plus or minus if we take off the modulus. So, you will get the following equation. Okay guys, this is for today's video. If you like the video, hit the like button, smash the subscribe button, ring that bell icon. It might not face you when it is a new video. If you have any doubts, comment down below. I will answer them in the next video.